Hey there, my name is Dustin, and this is the first lesson in our video tutorial series for the Adobe Captivate 7 eLearning template. These tutorials are intended to help you walk through the creation of this template from scratch in order to teach you how to create your own Captivate eLearning courses. So let's get to it. This lesson is going to cover how to create a new project in Captivate 7. So first off, you have to launch Captivate 7. So let's go ahead and do that. I have it saved in my start menu here. Let's click on it, load her up. Once you're in Captivate, go to File, New Project, Blank Project to create your new course. A pop-up window will appear asking you to select the screen dimensions for your course. Now, this step is very important. Here is where we need to set width and height of the project. Absolutely do not just select one of the options because if you get the dimensions wrong, you could end up spending hours fixing this later. But why, you ask? Well, it's the best practice to keep your e-learning content entirely above the fold, meaning that the user never has to scroll to see the content. It all fits on the screen. So you want to size your Captivate project to fit on your user's screen so all the space is used, but no scrolling is required. If you don't do this correctly, you'll need to rescale the entire project later on, which means you will have to resize, rearrange, and rewrite content on every single page so that all your content still fits on the screen as it should. It's really a big pain. Right, to figure out what your screen dimension should be, you have to know your target audience. Specifically, what technology they are using, what devices they're using, what operating systems, what screen resolutions, and what browsers your users will be using to view the e-learning. Once you know this information, then simply access computers or other devices with the same settings as your target audience, and then follow this simple link I've created to find the screen dimensions you should optimize for. Uh, before you launch the link, make sure your browser is set to full screen when you launch it. Take these dimensions and subtract an additional 16 pixels from the width and height, because Captivate wraps published projects with an 8 pixel thick border around the outside edges. Once this is complete, save the file by clicking the Save button in the top left corner of Captivate. Select your folder to save the project in. Type a name. And click Save. Done. All right, that's it for today. So next time, we'll actually get into creating some content, and we'll talk about uh, project templates. So I guess I'll talk to you then. Later.